Top Seychelles Attractions and Experiences Before You Hit 40 Stunning and unspoiled, the Seychelles star in countless tropical island fantasies. Beautiful boulder-strewn beaches, virgin jungles, thriving coral reefs and UNESCO-listed nature reserves are just some of the many attractions of the archipelago's 115 coral and granite islands, which are the peaks of a vast underwater plateau. Welcome back to another episode of Feet Pin Travel. Join us on our journey around the world as we share our best travel tips, guides, and amazing experiences with you. If you're not a part of our community yet, hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our latest and greatest uploads. Remember, we travel not to escape life, but for life not to escape us. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top Seychelles attractions and experiences before you hit 40. Let's get started. The Seychelles lie east of Kenya near the equator. Almost half their total land area is protected and many of the islands and atolls are contained within marine sanctuaries. Popular things to do in the Seychelles include hiking the mountain trails, basking on the ravishing beaches, rock climbing, photographing the unique flora and fauna, and dining on mouthwatering Creole cuisine. Aquatic pursuits abound in the clear azure water. Diving, snorkeling, surfing, and sailing are all world-class, and the Seychelles encompass some of the richest fishing grounds in the world. The larger granitic inner islands of the Seychelles, primarily Mahé, Praslin, and Ladigue, are the most developed for tourists, with many luxury five-star Seychelles resorts. Mahé is home to the small capital Victoria, as well as the International Airport, the Cruise Ship Port, and the beautiful Mornay Seychellois National Park. On Praslin Island, you can explore the UNESCO-listed Valle de Mai, while sleepy Ladigue shelters some of the Seychelles' most breathtaking beaches. The outer islands are mainly uninhabited, low-lying sand keys and small coralline islands and atolls. Fishing is superb here and anglers will find exclusive fishing lodges on Alphonse Island and Farquhar Atoll. No matter what you choose to do in these sublime islands, learn more about the best places to visit with our selection of the top attractions in the Seychelles. Anze Lazio, Praslin On the north shore of Praslin Island, Anze Lazio, or Chevalier Bay, is one of the Seychelles' most beautiful beaches. You have to hike over a hill to access the beach, but it's worth the effort. Flanked by rounded granite boulders, this long stretch of soft blonde sand merges with crystal clear waters in dreamy shades of blue. Takamaka trees and coconut palms fringe the beach, providing patches of shade for relaxing, and hungry bathers can refuel at restaurants on both ends of the beach. The best time to visit Anse Lazio is during the early morning or late afternoon when most of the tour buses have left. Anse Intendance, Mahé One of Mahé's best beaches, this small and secluded crescent of sand on the island's south coast is a favorite surfing spot thanks to its frequent big swells and wild waves. The lack of a protective reef makes swimming a little rough when trade winds blow from the southeast. But sunbathers, beachcombers, and photographers will enjoy this picturesque, palm-framed strand at any time of year. Turtles nest along the powdery shores here. Bay Lazare Mahé The pretty village of Bay Lazare on Mahé was named after 18th century French explorer Lazare Picot, who landed here when the French government sent him to explore the islands. One of the area's main tourist attractions is the neo-Gothic Baie Lazare Church dedicated to St. Francis of Assisi, which provides a panoramic view of the area. The stunning beaches of Anse and Petit Anse are among the best beaches in the Seychelles, with their striking azure water and dazzling white sand. La Digue Island The fourth largest island in the archipelago, La Digue, is a haven for nature lovers. It's also a great place to visit for anyone seeking a glimpse of traditional island life. Bicycles and ox carts are popular modes of transport. Stunning white sand beaches and granite rock outcrops rim the coast, and beach connoisseurs will find one of the planet's most picturesque stretches of sand and sea here, on Sur Stargent. You do need to pay to access the beach at the nearby Lyonion Estate, where your admission includes a tour through this old copra factory and vanilla plantation. Another sightseeing attraction is the Vouv Nature Reserve, home to the endangered Black Paradise Flycatcher, also called the Widow because of its streaming black tail feathers. Diving and rock climbing are also popular things to do on the island, and hikers will enjoy La Paz to Grand Anse Trail, which threads past French colonial houses through woodlands and marsh areas to gorgeous Grand Anse Beach. 
Curious Island Day Trip Once known as Ile Rouge due to its russet-toned earth, Curious Island is now home to a breeding program for giant tortoises, which roam freely around the sandy coves. Most of the island is covered with takamaka and kasarina trees, which shade the white sand beaches. But the island is known for another botanical distinction. Curious is the only place besides Praslin where the Coco de Mer palm grows naturally. The island was also once a leper colony, and you can explore the ruins of the Leprosarium on the South Shore, as well as the Doctor's House, a preserved national monument. Mourne-Seychellois National Park Nature lovers and hikers will be in heaven in Mourne-Seychellois National Park. This is the largest national park in the Seychelles, covering more than 20% of the area of Mahé. Within its lush borders lies the mountain chain named after its highest point, Mourne Seychellois, which reaches a height of 905 meters and overlooks the capital of Victoria. Wildlife includes several notable species of birds, including the Seychelles Scops Owl, Bulbul and Sunbird, and the lush vegetation varies from several species of endemic palms to pandanus, pitcher plants and ferns. You'll find some of the best hikes on the island here. Hiking trails ascend into the park from the village of Dunzil, passing tea plantations and offering spectacular views of the southwest coast of Mahé from the mountain slopes. The moderate Morn Blanc hike is one of the most popular trails and offers spectacular views from its summit. Walking west through the park, hikers will reach the Baiterne and Port Launay Marine Parks. To the northwest lies the hamlet of Belombra and the isolated beach at Anse Major. Saint Anne Marine National Park Encompassing six islands, a 15 to 20 minute boat ride off the coast of Mahé near Victoria, St. Anne National Marine Park became the first national park in the Indian Ocean in 1973. Snorkeling, scuba diving and glass bottom boat excursions reveal the rich diversity of marine life in the park's coral reefs. And you can explore most of the islands within the reserve on day excursions from Mahé. You can also stay overnight on a few of the islands. St. Anne Island is an important nesting site for hawksbill turtles. In spite of its mangroves and crocodiles, the island was the site of a 1770 French settlement, the first in the Seychelles. On Round Island, a former leper colony, you can enjoy a nature walk and stay overnight at the J.A. Enchanted Island Resort. Ile Caché is an important breeding site for noddies and a designated nature reserve. At Surf Island, you can swim, snorkel or dive along the beautiful reefs, or bask on the uncrowded beaches. You can also base yourself here at the Surf Island Resort or L'Habitation Hotel. Privately owned Moyen Island features nature trails, reconstructed settlers' homes, pirate graves, a small thatched chapel, and giant tortoises. Bovalon Beach Bovalon's alluring curve of glittering sand on Mahé's northwest coast is a magnet for both tourists and locals. Looking out to sea, mountainous Silhouette Island shimmers on the horizon providing a picturesque view. If you're looking for buzzing beach action, this is a good choice. Hotels and restaurants fringe the shore, and on weekends, locals come here for beach barbecues. You'll also find a variety of water sports on offer here, including jet skis, water skiing, banana boats, and paddleboarding. Lifeguards patrol the beach and the sea is usually calm, especially during the southeast trade winds, making this a good choice for families with small children. Ons Volbert on the northeast coast of Praslin, Ansvalbert, also known as Côte d'Or, is one of the island's most popular beaches. Warm, shallow water laps the sun-bleached sands and coral reefs beckon just offshore. The calm waters are also safe for swimming with small children. Ansvalbert is one of the island's main resorts, and you'll find many hotels and restaurants lining the shores, including the Hotel Côte d'Or with thatched bungalows tucked amid the tropical foliage. Valle de Mai National Park, Praslin Need a break from all the sun, sand and sea? Head to the cool shady recesses of Valle de Mai National Park. This is one of the best places to visit in the Seychelles for nature lovers. A UNESCO World Heritage Site on the island of Praslin, this lush palm-studded park preserves a prehistoric forest that contains at least 4,000 examples of the rare giant Coco de Mer fruit palm, which is endemic to the Seychelles. Before you head off on the hiking trails, stop by the visitor center to learn more about the park's ecology and see some of the Coco de Mer seeds, which are among the largest in the world. 
Other plants that flourish in the park include vanilla orchids, palmiste, latanye, splay traveler's palm, and Chinese fans. It's easy to explore this reserve along the well-marked nature trails. You can choose from three different routes that take between one and three hours to hike. Towering trees form an overhead canopy, keeping the trail shaded for most of the way, and huge boulders lie along the forest floor. The valley is home to many species of lizards and rare birds, such as the Seychelles bulbul, fruit pigeon, and the national bird of the Seychelles, the black parrot. Hiring a guide is highly recommended so you can learn more about the plants and animals. Note too, that there is a fee to enter the park. With that, we've reached the end of this video all about top Seychelles attractions and experiences before you hit 40. Which of the entry in today's episode would you most like to visit? Get involved and let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this one and found it interesting, remember to leave a like on the video so we know to make more for you. Also, subscribe to Feed Pin Travel for even more amazing travel content just like this video. As always, thanks for watching. See you again soon in another episode.